we've had a ton of rain in the last couple days, so I wanted to come check on this. So the problem they're having is the water that lands here in the front has nowhere to get out. And it's flooding the crawl space. Looks like that thing is actually flowing a little bit. And then here's our channel. Oof. That's really wet. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is what we're here fixing. Look at this. The water is coming literally through under the crawl space, under the house, and it's been doing this for quite a while. So I just called the homeowner and asked her if I could stop by since it just rained. Look at this. So I was under here when I first looked at the job, but this is definitely a huge mess. So this is what I wanted to show you all before we fix it. You know, it just happened that the, that the thing it rained. These are fairly new too. Anyway, so wanted to give you all a glimpse of what was happening here. Look at that. So I don't know if I've seen one this bad before, but we're gonna fix it. All right, there is water flowing out of the channel here. So, I didn't get out here during the rain, but it's supposed to be catching the water coming from this way. So, not a bad start to this project. Now we just need the rain to stay away and things to dry out so we can finish up. I had mentioned to the homeowners about new gutters and even though their gutters were in decent shape, they were already interested in getting new gutters. And so we got on the gutter guy schedule and it just so happened that they texted me that morning that we were going to be heading over there. And so Crystal and I zipped over and met them and we got them started on the front of the house here where we're going to be doing the concrete work. And so these gutter guys are really, really fast, really efficient. And so... I was pretty sure that they would get finished up with the front before the concrete guys even got there. And so getting new gutters is always a good thing. And of course, I always recommend getting gutter guard as well. So the gutter guys installed gutter guard on this house too, especially with all the trees around here. That gutter guard makes things a lot easier to just get up on the roof with a leaf blower and blow out the gutters easily. Oh yeah, they'll be done in no time. They'll be done way before noon. They'll probably be done with the front before Harvey gets here. What was wrong with this? Or is this a little picture? I think. I think. What's that? Yeah. Oh, I like that tool. Looks like you guys got a new one. Yes, we did. We just had the other one remilled because it was worn out. Boom. Nice. It keeps your surface area smooth. Yeah. A lot of guys will drop the cup in. Uh-huh. Uh, and you have to seal it. 
and it'll put a small ramp. Yep. It's not a huge deal. This just allows the gutter to drain a little more efficient. Yep. It's a huge deal to a drainage guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> every little inch or every little length of an inch counts. Yep, for sure. All it takes. So we're off to the race. Yep. You want me to lift it up a little bit? I'm getting ready to pull it up. I just made a root. I gotta take the screws out. We're gonna lay that dart in on the ground. Oh, okay. Makes it a little bit easier for us. Cool. These guys made a 93 foot section for my apartment building at Colbreth. It took like five or six of us to carry it. Cool. And they, yeah, that big huge lever. It's like a guillotine. Yeah, the, style, the old style was just you had to put a breaker bar on. This has a gear drive in it, so it's uh -huh. a little bit easier to break. Oh. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. New product. It's, just, it's very similar to the other, but it's got a, a little different kick here. Uh huh. So it lays nice and flat. It's okay. Clears that hanger. Cool. I like it. <laughs> so it's not maintenance free, it's just a lot easier. Maintenance. No, it's not a maintenance free product. Now, somebody might tell you it is. Yeah. Uh, They'll be done shortly. How many feet is that, Travis? 62. 62 foot, seamless gutter. Let me know when I'm about an inch past your shingle there, Sean. All right. A little bit further, right there. Yeah, that piece of wood. That little guy works pretty good. Mm -hmm. Little Dewalt. Yeah.
We're gonna get started on the concrete work too. It just happened that the gutter guys texted me this morning and said they were gonna be able to be here. The homeowner wanted to keep these large pavers that they had there and they were acting as like stepping stones for their front walk and they just asked us to pile them up on the front porch right there right by the door and they were going to move them later. So that's what we're getting started here as the first part of the concrete work. We just moved these pavers and there's nothing but sand rock under here and so this stuff lets the water go right through it. So this might be a contributing factor to the, the native soil around here that's leading and causing that flooding to go on. So that's why we're going with kind of a drastic fix with a sea of concrete in the front here. I always recommend if you're getting new gutters to put gutter guard on. And so we already saw the gutter guy installing the gutter guard. It's like a tray that catches the debris and keeps it up on the surface. You can see here that when you're living in areas where, the, where there's a lot of trees, the gutters do collect stuff. And so right here especially, you can see that if these things are overflowing, then any kind of pipe or drainage solution you use is not going to do anything. And so keep in mind the gutter guard is not maintenance free, it just makes maintenance way, way, way easier. Getting started over here on the concrete work in the front of the house, the first part of any concrete job is to remove and get rid of the topsoil. Topsoil has a lot of organic matter in it and it's not suitable to build over top of. And so in this case, we had a bunch of shrubs in the front, so there's even more organic matter in, in the front here. And so what we're starting out with is just getting rid of this topsoil. We're going to haul this off and get down to the clay subsoil in this area. And then we can start building our foundation for our concrete. Got the old gutters 
wrapped up nice and tidy. Check out this French drain that was in here and wasn't doing anything. So you never want to use a French drain where you have something that's lower. So you can see the gravel in here that they were trying to use. The problem is the crawl space is lower than this French drain. So that's why you wouldn't want to use a French drain here. And that's why we're doing concrete. So should be getting it done here. taking some of this dirt we dug out and trying to feather this bank a little bit so it has a little bit more of a flush smooth transition from the yard onto the new concrete so usually what I do or what we do is we haul all the dirt away and then I have to haul it all back in to do the finish grading so we're trying to incorporate a little bit of that at this point we have got a big pile here too All right, Harvey's back with a load of sand rock. So we're gonna dump it over here where I was staging that riprap. It's very important if you're putting in more than a couple inches of sand rock or base material to compact it in thin layers. And so here I went and got the mini bobcat and we're adding a little bit more sand rock to get our fall right up against the house and with our channel drain. So you see our channel drains right there. We're messing around with the level trying to figure out where we want to be and we wanted a little bit more sand rock in there. So we're just compacting it now again in layers, adding a little bit more compacting it, adding a little bit more compacting it. We got this giant crater filled in, compacted really well with a bunch of sand rock. And now we're starting to get our line laid out here and that will be our straight edge for the channel drain. So we're trying to get a clear shot through there, get it straight with the front porch right here and try to get our line set up. So then we can just set our channel drains and keep it moving. This was definitely a tricky project to get our fall correct. 
falling away from the house and then falling down to the right side of the house and making sure we maintained our fall. So we started getting the channel drain set in here, or I started getting it. And then I realized pretty quickly that I had way too much fall on this, on this channel drain. And so I was running out of fall going uphill. So we had to pull it back out and add a little bit more sand rock in here. I'm back out here, it's the next day, and I got here a little bit before the concrete guys. I'm gonna try to get going on these pipes here. So I wanna catch these two gutters and send them down the way. And then that one gutter on the end right there, I think that can just dump on the concrete. So I was, I've was i been thinking about this, whether to just dump the gutters onto the concrete, but I think I really wanna keep them out of the channel drain. I think the channel drain is going to have enough water to deal with by itself without adding the gutters on top. So we've got gutter guard on top of these gutters, so we shouldn't be clogging up these pipes at all. We've got a decent amount of fall down through there, so that's what I decided to do. I'm having to trench this just a little bit lower so there's a little bit more concrete over top of that pipe. And look at this, rookie mistake. Accidentally threw sand rock in the channel drain, whoops. All right, give me just a sec here to get some glue on this puppy and we'll slide her together. <laughs> Ready? I think I need you on the other end. No, this end of here, buddy. All right, that end. Push. There it is. Yep. Let's hold it there for a couple seconds. God, that's so much easier with two people. Thank you. All right, we've got everything formed up and ready for concrete. So these channel drains are very, very, very challenging to get everything right. It's gotta be sloping this way, sloping this way, and sloping that way. This was a bit of a challenge here because this point is so much higher than this point over here. So we're gonna build the concrete up and like feather it. So we're gonna, ha we're gonna have to create an artificial high point here at this low point to keep the water away. So we're gonna get that fixed and figured out. And we should be pouring tomorrow. I think they said around lunchtime. So we're just getting cleaned up. The guy, the concrete guys are headed to a different job. And I guess I'm headed home. <laughs> 